I was staring at that crazy gradient on the new Instagram icon, and I was thinking, in Adobe Muse, I can't even do a diagonal gradient. I can only go left to right, top to bottom, one color to another. And I started to get kind of bummed out because I see this trend of these colorful gradients and they're not one point to another left to right or top to bottom. They're sort of diagonal, they're sort of dynamic, sort of as if the colors are floating around. And if you guys can see the colors on my screen, which hopefully you can, I know that the video compression is gonna make it a little bit more difficult. You'll notice that the gradient on my screen is diagonal. The colors are sort of, sort of floating about. I've got this purple transitioning uh, more gently at the top than it is at the bottom. The bottom is more orange and the bottom right. And uh, it sort of swirls around a little bit. And Muse can't do that, but I've done it in Muse because I've layered two gradients on top of one another. And that's the way to do it if you're trying to create more complex gradients. So for those of you who are very familiar with Muse, that's probably all you needed to know and you'll run off and you'll go do it. But if you guys wanna see how I did it here, I'm gonna go over to a new blank screen. I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna switch my fill type from solid to gradient. And for my left color, I'll do this purple color. And for my right color, I'll do this orange color. And you'll notice that it does look different. It looks different already. We've just got purple to orange, left to right. And you'll notice there's nothing here about doing a diagonal or angled gradient. We have focal point, which allows us to change the middle point of the gradient, but we don't have anything ab about the direction of it other than vertical or horizontal, which is just crazy and a bummer. So I'm gonna leave this one on horizontal and I'm going to copy and paste it on top of itself. And I'm going to take the second copy, make sure that it's lined up with the first copy. And the second copy, I'm going to do vertical instead of horizontal. And for this copy, I'm gonna choose different colors, but similar colors, colors that sort of blend together. Blue blends with purple, yellow blends with orange, so this is still gonna work out. And now I'm going to manipulate the opacity of these points and bring it way, way down and that way it's just sort of influencing the color below. And with that, I'm creating a gradient that's more complex, it's still completely responsive, and it's created using code, so it's really light. It's gonna load super fast, it's not gonna bog down mobile devices, and again, it's fully responsive. So this is a great way to do it if you get the colors that you're looking for, and you don't have to go to Photoshop, and you don't have to create large files with heavy load times. So that's really it. It's just a matter of stacking two gradients on top of one another, playing with the opacity until you get it where you like it, and you can create something a little bit more complex and a little bit more beautiful than just a left to right or top to bottom gradient. So hopefully you guys like this. If you do, head over to museresources.com, download free stuff, go to moveformuse.com and get the, the, get the move uh, animation widgets, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I, I know that was kind of a shameless plug. I don't mean to advertise, but, you know, got to do what I got to do. So subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll have more cool stuff coming soon.